on the phone. So good evening, good morning, good afternoon, lovely friends. Thank you very much for joining me. You are live with me here on air on the Asma Radio Network, even on Psychic Radio and Moonstruck TV. And I was just about to sneeze. So we will see where we are going with, that, with this show, Susanna Medium. And I'm your host, Susanna Herchuk, coming to you live from the UK. And in fact, coming to you straight from my garden. So here we go. It's good to be back. I hope you are all very well and making the most of whether it is your springtime or autumn time. So today I'm going to take one caller, but I need to tell you I've got all the various decks of cards in front of me, not all of them. But I want to talk to you about how to read cards or how not to read cards or how to or what to do with cards. And while it is really, really exciting because I am not a reader, well, I'm a reader, but I'm not a tarot card reader. So when I have a deck of cards like this with me, um, uh, one of the, 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 the tarot cards, I look at them, but I cannot tell you the history of the various things, the numbers, the, the symbols and all the various things. Or even if I look at, look at, Already, I have a, an oracle card here, which is a Kyle Gray card. Um, that's the angels and ancestors card. I can't tell you the historical background and all the stories of the shaman, all, all kind of different things. So shapeshifter, why do we call it shapeshifter? So I have a certain amount of knowledge. But what I want to talk to you about is how I am not reading the cards. And that's an inspiration or an invitation for you as well, because I know at the very beginning when we get our cards, we are all very excited about learning and finding out and getting messages for ourselves and getting messages for other people as well. And we read books and we do courses. And it's absolutely beautiful if you feel this is what you need to do, if this is what you need to do. But I always found that when it came to cards, yes, I took some time because I thought that is what I needed to do, learn the cards. But I soon realized that the cards are either falling out of my hands or they are becoming something, something else in my hand. So, for instance, if I give you an example, we can have, I give you, I give you this card. Let's see the word coming out, this card. So if you are studying, if you are studying uh, the tarot cards, you would know all the symbols and everything uh, on the card here. And you might approach your reading from that angle that, yes, I can see this and that. And then you would start working with spirit or at the same time, spirit would start working with you. But what I fi find really fascinating is that Spirit is going to show you how you need to work with your card. If you are drawn to learning and studying and reading books or reflecting, like I have this one, 78 degrees of wisdom, once at a time, somebody suggested me to work with this book. And I remember taking the, the major arcana, taking one card a week and writing about my own experience. And towards the end of the week, I would read of what the book said and I, I would sort of compare what I have learned or reflect on all the various things. So you can do all those things. But my inv invitation is that when you are receiving, when you are having a card in your hand, yes, you can look at it or you can put it down or you can put it aside. But at the same time, at the very, very same time, tune in with spirit energy, God energy, spirit consciousness. Because whether you are holding the card in your hand or not, or in fact, any other object, you can talk about flowers, you can talk about so psychometry or, or other ob objects, but then the information is going to come to you. And while I, in that sense, love working with cards, because I don't know much about the cards, but then the cards can become anything in my hand. Uh, they can become a mirror, they can become a door, they can become... Uh, a palette that can become uh, a letter I need to fold together. They can become something I need to look at. The spirit is showing me the back of the card, not necessarily what is in front of the card. They can go upside down. They can become an aeroplane. 
and then the inflammation comes from that space. And I know there was time and some people like friends, you know, at the very beginning when we try, when we start out and we try to have readings for people and when the energy came in all different ways, but then still made, made uh, or had a meaning for the individual, but then they did not like the way uh, how I was reading the cards. But I figured out that, that the most important thing is that we trust. And it's not that I trust the cards, but I trust the, the spirits, trust the, the information which is coming to me. And as long as we are going with what is working with us and working for us, we are on the right path. And that was actually a very, very big learning for me. And then I know that when I'm working with people, very often I say, yes, I've got the cards, but then you see maybe the cards that they don't want to show themselves. I mean, maybe we just need to look at or look at the back of the card and, you know, we just give you the information and then we can look at the card if you really want to see the cards. So the invitation for you, my lovely listener, is that really feel into what works for you. Comparing each other, comparing ourselves uh, to somebody else who is a reader, who is a healer, who is a speaker, who is a, a writer, is not going to take us uh, for very, very far. And then even just notice if this conversation is triggering something in you, then, then maybe just notice that that is your own experience. Because in the spiritual realm, there is no time, there is no shape, there is no uh, any, any of those. But as long as we are going with what we are receiving, that then we are in the right, right on the right path, and we are really there for our mission. So a big, big, big topic. But I just thought I'm just going to mention. Uh, I'm going to tell you how I don't read cards. But I have a caller here, which is or who is Robin in California. So let's see. We might be using cards. We might, but just using the energy. So Robin, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Lovely to have you here. Thanks very much for, for calling in and being here. So how can I help you? Hi, I was calling to get the free mediumship reading. Okay, mediumship, lovely, lovely. So most certainly I'm not going to go over in my cards here. It's absolutely beautiful. So may, may I just ask, because we've got short time here. So if I don't get to the end of your reading, feel free to send me a, an email to hello at susannamedium.com. Okay, because I, I would really like to to work with your energy. But is there somebody, because I'm feeling female energies, okay? I'm aware of two female and one male energies. Would you understand two female, two females who are close to us in the one generation and one generation back? Yes. Thank you. Would I be correct to say, because, because I'm working with the time here as well, I'm feeling a mothering energy and then the one who is behind, who is a grandmother energy. And on the side, I have a male energy. Would you understand the yes. mother and mother energy? Thank you. Now, what I need to say, because, you know, when they come together, they very often show the relationship. And what I feel between the two of them, would you understand that they are quite chatty? You know, one of them is saying something and the other one is replying. And then while we are talking here, they are acknowledging the situation, but it feels that they have quite a lot to say to each other and to as well uh, most certainly or, or even more stronger the grandmother now, would you understand the energy between the two ladies please yes yeah, my grandmother my mother yes and yes. the male is and my then, husband yes 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 thank you thank you and then what i'm feeling feeling is that that both of them want to your mom and your grandmother both of them want to give you their version of the story and while they are agreeing, they say, you know, at the end, you are just listening to me, just listen to me, you know. Now, what I feel out of the two, the grandmother is stronger, so I need to work with the grandmother energy. But would you understand 1954 and 1956 and potentially 1959 in relation to her, please? Yes, my grandmother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I also need to give you the 7th, around the 7th and the 9th of July. Okay, and when I get a date, I go with someone's birthday passing and celebration. And what she says that last year was a more important date than the one who is coming or which is coming forward, you know, so that that 
July, what I need to understand here. Now, would you understand three children? I want to say two, I wanted to show you two, but I am aware of three children. I'm looking after three, but it feels like two of them are closer to each other and the third one is just on the side there. Would you understand three, please? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Now, what it feels like that, that in your life, because she's comparing the two to each other, and she said, it's interesting because earlier I was talking about not comparing ourselves to anybody and anything, but then she says that their energy is the two, it feels like daughter, daughter, son, girl, girl, boy, but it feels like as if they have spent quite a lot of time in their lives comparing to comparing each other, you know, Compar comparison is important. And then whether they have had some competition going between the two of them, and then also, I need to say, emotional, so not emotionally, but but um, age-wise or energetically, they are qu quite close to each other, while at the same time, there is that competition energy going. And then it feels that that gave them quite a lot of strength. But the third person, the third one, who is just quietly, quietly watching on the side. Now, what I feel for the third person here is whether the person was born later or emotionally or even geographically a little bit further away but, um, further away from the rest of the family. Would you understand that, please? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Now, I need to go back because uh, I need to finish in a minute here, but she is pointing out the comparison side because she says don't compare yourself to anybody you know not even in the family around you right now you have been holding back your things what you wanted to say and she said she understands the pain what you felt in your heart and then also in your stomach area but what she says that things are going to change things are going to turn uh, a little bit different and then you just need to go with the flow even if you feel that you don't know the, the, the next step or you don't know the, the following day or following week uh, what is this going to bring to you but you just go along you might feel that you are a little bit separate from everybody but then that is what your energy and then she's just very very powerfully cheering you on the way so i have it looks like i have 30 seconds left so Robin, thank you very much for calling in. That was just a little, little touch conversation. Feel free to send me a message and I'm very, very happy to talk to you. But then you are getting a lot of light and then healing energy as well as, well as you are moving forward. So Robin, thanks very much for being here. And my audience, the rest of us, thanks very much for being here. I'm going to be back in seven days time. Have a lovely week ahead. Thank you.